So here's the setup. Now, if you're really, really new to roller skating, each skate has four wheels and each wheel needs two bearings. So if you're going to be purchasing any wheels for roller skates, you want to make sure that you purchase eight of them. So this right here is a bearing. You're going to need two bearings per wheel. So that means you need a total of 16 bearings. Usually when you purchase them, they come in packs of 16, so you should be fine. This right here is a T-tool. This is the Roller Bones Bearings Press. There are different kinds of bearing presses out there, but if you can't get your hands on one, I will also show you how to put on bearings with just your hands. So the first thing you want to do is to of course take apart the wheels that are already on the skate. If you want to loosen the nut you want to turn it towards the counterclockwise direction or left and if you want to tighten it you want to go clockwise or right. So this right here is called a nut. Taking off my wheel this tiny thing right here that's behind the wheel is called a washer, and this part of the skate that holds the wheel is called the axle. So now I'm going to show you two different ways to put bearings inside the wheel. So with this bearing press, you're going to press this button on top right here, and you're going to stick the bearing through. And then you're going to take your wheel, and you're going to press it in. And then in order to take this out, you just press it and then release. And then the bearing is inside the wheel. And remember, you need two bearings per wheel, so you're also going to do the same thing on the back side. So again, with the bearing, press it, put it inside, line it up straight, use the palms of your hands, and then press it. And to release, press the top and let go. Something that I like to do to make sure that the bearing is pressed into the wheel all the way is to hold on to the bearings on each side. If it's spinning smoothly and spinning straight, then that's how you know that the bearing is in correctly. Sometimes if your bearing isn't in perfectly or if it's on crooked, you'll feel that it's less smooth when you're spinning the wheel. Now, if you don't have this bearings press, it's totally fine. You can actually put the bearings on with the axle itself, so I'll show you how to do that. So let's start with putting the bearing on this side. So what you're gonna wanna do is put the bearing on the axle like this. Turn the wheel over this way. I like to put this part of my hand to push on the wheel and you're gonna push the bearing into the wheel like this. And then I'll also show you from another angle. And again, if you want to test it to make sure that it's on all the way, just put your finger on the edge, hold it, and then spin it just to make sure that it's rolling smoothly. Now I'm going to finish the other two wheels off real quick before we reassemble the skates. So now that all of the bearings are inside the wheels, it's time to put them all back onto the axles. You're gonna put the washer in first. You're gonna put on the wheel. And then you're gonna put on the nut. Remember when you're tightening the nut that you're going clockwise or right. So when I'm tightening my wheels, I tighten it all the way until it's stiff so you can't spin the wheel. So what I like to do is loosen it about 90 degrees, so this much. And then when you spin it, it should be a continuous spin like that. You can even turn it a little bit more than 90 degrees if you like your wheels looser. So it'll spin like this. But something you wanna make sure of is that your wheel isn't too loose when you're putting it on. So if you can hear the sound, that means that your wheel is too loose. So you wanna make sure that the wheel is tightened where it doesn't make that noise. So I'm lifting the wheel right now and you can't hear it, but when I'm spinning it, it's also still spinning. So again, the order is the washer, the wheel, and the nut.
and there you have it.